two-minute assessment when buying apartments. Brought to you by smallapartmentsinvestors.com. I'm Cordell. In this video, I'm going to show you a two-minute assessment as the intro said. I have a lot of information on my website, smallapartmentinvestors.com, that can help you gain more knowledge and more insight in uh, investing in small apartments. Here we go. Okay. Now, when it comes to looking at apartments, of course, numbers mean a lot. And you can learn quickly to do an initial assessment of an apartment building in three easy steps. This initial assessment will help you determine <clears throat> whether you want to proceed or if you want to dig a little bit deeper and really figure out if there's something that you want to do. So here's how it works. The sellers or the brokers have like a property setup sheets, and this is what they list to promote the property that's being listed for sale. And sometimes this provides you with minimal information about a property being offered for sale. It may say the asking price, the number of units, gross revenues, location, and terms. So when you get this and you review the setup sheet for the apartment building, you can ask for a full offering package. And you'll put that request out to the broker or to the seller. And when you get that, it's a lot more information in debt. Then they give you the annual property operating data, the APOD. But when you look at all this, I have another video also on that you can find. But as a general rule of thumb, the total operating expenses will average 40 to 60% of gross income, depending on a very variety of factors. So if you get, say, 50% on average, so what you're going to do is when you get that setup sheet, look at the gross income that is reported. And then you're going to divide that by two. The result is a reasonable estimate of the net operating income. Now, once you have that net operating income, that can be divided into the asking price, giving you an estimate of the cap rate. Now, you're going to compare the cap rate to what is normal for your area and the size of the apartment building. In other videos I have, I, I break down cap rate, I break down net operating income. I'm not going to go through it all right now because I don't want to be redundant. But just know what I just told you is a something that you can use as a tool. Here are the steps again. Get the gross income. You divide that by two. And the result is an estimate of the net operating income. The net operating income is very essential. That part of the equation impacts everything. Calculate the cap rate by dividing the net operating income by the asking price. And the last step is to determine whether the resulting cap rate is in line with the market. Once again, depends on the size of units, excuse me, where you're investing in as well. Here's the website once again. Check it out. And I'm going to do my best to keep pushing out videos. All right, smallapartmentinvestors.com.